gentlemen. With good reason. Yeah. As though Lesnar is fashioning himself a bit of a podium. Watch enjoying the moment. Enjoying the spotlight. Thank you very much. Before we get this party started tonight, I'd like to give a big shout out to my good buddy, Roman Reigns. He's probably sitting at home, more than likely, tuned into Monday Night Raw, tuned into the new WWE Heavyweight Champion, the real champion, Brock Lesnar. <laughs> Get well soon, buddy. Now, South Carolina. Acknowledge me. I would also like to acknowledge my advocate for advocating my free agency, for advocating all the strings you pulled Saturday to make, to help make me the WWE Champion. Paul? Thank you. If you think it's interesting out here, you should see the things that go on behind the scenes in WWE. Like when I negotiated for Brock Lesnar to be a free agent, allegedly did that in advance. And then Saturday at day one, when Brock Lesnar showed up looking to win a title from a champion and one champion simply could not make it, but the other champion, the other champion was in a fatal four way and what? What's better than a fatal four-way than a fatal five-way featuring Brock Lesnar? So all the behind-the-scenes machinations and the strings were pulled and Brock Lesnar gets to enter, enter the fatal five-way and now what does Brock Lesnar do as your WWE Heavyweight Champion? Well, he concentrates not only on reigning but defending. So at the Royal Rumble, Brock Lesnar will defend the championship against the winner of the originally scheduled Fatal 4-Way, which takes place tonight right here in this very ring. Let's run down the challenger, shall we? First, there's Seth Rollins and Kevin Owens, and you have to lump them in together because they are a team. They're a team in a match where every man is for himself. These two figured out to be jackals, to be hyenas, to go after the lions of the jungle. Because then if they win it together, they have to figure it out. It's up to WWE and screw management as far as they are concerned. And it's a smart thing for someone who's pretty damn dumb like Seth Rollins. Because Seth Rollins likes to tell everybody that he's a visionary and he's too stupid to realize that he's not a visionary because if he had a vision for the future, he realized that his wife is going to leave him if he doesn't beat Brock Lesnar for the WWE title. And he can't. So who's she going to leave him for? Well, I don't know, but it sure as hell won't be Kevin Owens because Kevin Owens can't beat Brock Lesnar for the WWE title either. Maybe the two of them should ask to be, ask to be traded to SmackDown because I understand there's a certain tribal chief who's a little vulnerable without his special counsel nowadays. Oh, don't go ooh. It's a historical fact. I'm going to prove it to you. 
One week without me as special counsel, Roman Reigns already has COVID. Yeah, you can get over the Rona, but karma can be really bitchy. Speaking of bitchy, let's talk about MVP. Actually, let's not talk about MVP since nobody else does anyway. Let's talk, however, about Bobby Lashley. There's a worthy challenger. Brock Lesnar has never met Bobby Lashley. There's a historical fact. Brock Lesnar never ran into Bobby Lashley in the back. They never shook hands. They never say hello to each other. It's like the two were avoiding each other, which I know is not the case, because neither one avoids anything or anybody in life. The first time Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar met, Bobby Lashley speared Brock Lesnar through that wall. The second time Brock Lesnar and Bobby Lashley met in the very same match 48 hours ago, Brock Lesnar hit an F5 on everybody in the match with the exception of Bobby Lashley, who speared Brock Lesnar and damn near pinned him. The third time Bobby Lashley and Brock Lesnar met in the same match 48 hours ago, Bobby Lashley put Brock Lesnar in the hurt lock. And I've said this to Brock Lesnar's face, it didn't look like Brock Lesnar was going to get out. This is all a testament to how damn good Bobby Lashley is. Except, on all three of these occasions, Bobby Lashley was hitting Brock Lesnar from a blind side or behind. So, if Bobby Lashley wins tonight, and he faces Brock Lesnar at the Royal Rumble, he's gonna have to face Brock Lesnar face to face. And that is a whole different story. The story between jacking someone from behind and just going down in history as the almighty Brock Lesnar wannabe. There's one more man in the match tonight. He's the odds on favorite. He's the former champion and it's Big E. We have nothing bad to say. Yeah, he deserves your applause. That is a great champion. Big E did WWE justice. Big E is a credit to World Wrestling Entertainment, to the company, to the audience, to the WWE Universe, to the viewers at home, to the people live here tonight, to the lineage of the WWE title. Big E is all that and more. And he would still be WWE Champion if he didn't have to step into the ring with Brock Lesnar. We have nothing but respect and admiration for Big E. So if Big E wins tonight, and he gets the rematch of the Royal Rumble, sir, it will be an absolute honor to witness that match. You're gonna lose, which is no shame, but it would still be an honor to watch you lose to the greatest WWE Champion of all time, the winner of the Fatal 4-Way, the winner of the Fatal 5-Way, excuse me, and your new reigning, defending, undisputed, WWE Heavyweight Champion of the World, Barack Lesnar! A newly hired advocate Rehired, I should say, Paul Heyman, covering a lot of ground there, gentlemen. What a brilliant play it was by Paul Heyman going back to the WWE draft to maintain Lesnar's status as a free agent. A total game changer. It's Brock's world. Hey, We're just living in it. Andy Orton, one half of the... Well, what the? What is good wearing? It's feeling a little Atlanta swag. All right, a little okay. bit of Migos hangover, I think, I going think on that. right now. I get it.